past year haunts us. We thought that was the end. Hey, but since we didn't learn anything from history, it's repeating itself. We are back in April. Delhi's just announced a lock, week down lockdown. Uh, we're already shut down at night. Uh, we are heading to a situation where at least what uh, uh, our uh, chief minister said there are 5,000 beds. The reality is uh, a little bit uh, further from that. It's difficult to get these beds. There's absolutely no capacity in remedy There is absolutely just, we just didn't learn from our mistakes. We just sat down and gloated at the rest of the world which was having such a difficult time, especially the United States. I don't know how many of our, uh, of our ministers of this current BJP kept saying, look at the United States, they're much worse. So look at it now. They were smart folks. One, they had a change in administration. That's the critical reason, obviously. The second is that, you know, while this was happening, they were ramping up, cornering the, the vaccines, they were cornering the, 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 the medicines, the remdesivirs, all the other PPEs, and they are ready because they've decided that essentially pandemics now are the next biggest national security threat. And it's interesting if you look at Bush, unfortunately he got, uh, he got uh, shafted by the 9-11, otherwise he had a very clear policy that he wanted to follow in terms of preparations for this for, for a pandemic like this because he actually had expected it. I've never seen a clearer speech. Unfortunately, he just got lost in the noise subsequently because of what happened at 9-11. But let's just see. Yeah. It just makes your heart, it wrenches your heart that these people who you voted to power, this administration that's supposed to be like an iron, uh, iron skeleton that holds India together. And this is what we've got. We are, we are, we are absolutely two steps back, right? And we didn't take any step forward. What do we say? Ah, we talk much about Sputnik. It says Sputnik doses may be shipped to India mid-May. Maybe there is a huge problem in terms of pricing at the stage goes. Then, and this is what the, what they're finding is what we, uh, should be happening. Don't just authorize vaccines. Make them. It's up to India to bridge the global deficit. Do it. And it says, issue compulsory licenses. Channel the moral outrage voiced by the Pope and assorted states for over vaccine iniquity to back this India-led vaccine drive. But unfortunately, we, have, we, we just are not getting it right. And this is it, right? Back to basics. Snags and accessing tests, critical care beds, oxygen supply during fir first wave speak have resurfaced. Can you imagine a year has gone by and we did not learn? See this here, center gives not to double production of remdesivir. It's not available anywhere, folks. People are being doctors, parents are being treated with alternative medicine. That's how bad it's gotten. Government, government steps up into ramp up remdesivir supply, bring down its price. And then there is news that good old yogi who earlier used his influence to, uh, during a complete lockdown to move his, uh, uh, his uh, pilgrims from Haridwar, if you remember after charging some hundreds of bus, buses, uh, buses, first you move them to Gujarat, right? And then you have Yogi get all his guys in despite what the, what the central government said. And now apparently he's picked up a flight of 25,000 remnants feet, uh, but those are taken into UP. What about the rest of us folks? It doesn't seem that we exist. Hell, yeah, there's another one. The quest to beat COVID-19. The decision on board exams are welcome. Now call off the cum and political rallies. Why are our children the guinea pigs, folks? We can sacrifice their future at our convenience, but we are refusing to sacrifice the key things that are actually going to lead to a spread and far worse. And it says, cum mela continues as COVID keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And it's so bad. There are major shortages of oxygen in Gujarat, the AMA says. MP Madhya Pradesh oxygen supply, big concern for Chief Minister. And then AK, <coughs> AK Sharma steps in to control worsening Varanasi pandemic. And this is an MLC, BJP MLC, former Gujarat Kada ISO. You know, somebody actually, one actually is beginning to think maybe the sun shines off out of all these Gujarat uh, cater IS guys. Nobody else seems to have a clue, right? Unbelievable, isn't it? 
There was a time, obviously, the Kerala coterie ruled, but COVID has a free run in poll states. Bengal's only half done. So Assam's gone nuts, Puducherry, Tamil Nadu, West Bengal, Kerala, all of it. Unfortunate. But there is absolutely cluelessness here. Over 76% shortfall of, of specialist doctors in rural health centers. And this is going to hit Bihar really, really badly, as you say here. Full hospitals, high caseload, Bihar battles the odds in second. It's going to be Bihar, UP, Madhya Pradesh, Charkhand are going to take the hit. Gujarat denies Remdesivir supply to BJP ruled states. What bets that they have? What bets, folks? Huh. And same thing, job loss, tense future, spark Mumbai migrant exodus despite government aid. Huh. And this is what really takes the game. Number of COVID funerals in MP raised un under reporting fears. And this is what's happening not only here, but also in Gujarat, big time, folks. Hmm. Interesting snippets of news that I thought you should know. TMC is anti Dalit. Nada on row over Sujata Mondal's comment. I hear I tend to agree, right? I think one of the most castiest always been controlled by the Brahmins is the West Bengal, is, is been West Bengal, now, whether it's TMC, because TMC just took over from the Communist Party, right? This is a problem that the, the BJP saw is now hitting it in the center, and this is the vote that Mamta is really worried about, right? But the onus of calm, deaths of voters point to egg, ugly edge of Bengal campaign. All players must steer it back from the brink, but it's looking really bad. And I suspect, folks, my own worry is that the government will de uh, declare a complete lockdown, pan India, right after the elections are over. And definitely because they see there's going to be a lot of trouble after the results come out, maybe they're manipulating them, maybe not. But this is a problem that you have to, one has to worry about, right? What else do we have as snippets that we right? I thought that these are important pieces of news that you should all see. High Court quashes FIR against rock band for hurting religious sentiments. I'm glad there is some, some reality somewhere. Then you have four arrested in Madhya Pradesh for hurting religious sentiments. And guess what? All the four are unfortunately end up to be Muslims. And now why is that? Why is it that they're always caught, right? They have this interesting note and everybody's laughing about it. Misogyny by Imran. By blaming women's attire for rape, Pakistan PM has put his last progressive pretension behind the parda. But yeah, this is really funny. He is just copying India. Because we have been doing that. This government has been, every time there is atrocities against women, what does what, what every minister in this government do? Always hides behind the same agenda that it is the attire that that kind of creates and we just saw it happen at UP, didn't it? So he has learned from us and we are making a comment of it in Indian it was strange, right? <laughs> Here another one. Uttarakhand CM says we'll take steps to stop love jihad. I think you should, I mean, I mean the, all these unmarried guys, frustrated, absolutely. But what do we have here? Justice Rohitan F. Narima. Adults free to choose their face, says Supreme Court, and, and that is absolutely right. But what is happening now, right, folks? You know the elections are coming up. <coughs> Varanasi Court OK's Gyan Vapi Mosque's Archaeological Survey. Gyan Vapi case petitioner gets security cover after life threat. They, but while you're while doing that, right? Varanasi court orders ASI to survey Gyan Vapi complex. Kind of strange. I thought we had a law not to do this. Again, we had something else, right? But while we are doing it, look at what's happening in KPK. KPK government in Pakistan releases rupees 3.48 crore for reconstruction of Hindu shrine damaged by blow. What a craze. Okay. What else do we have here? Court survey to find if religious structure is a superimposed. And then you have clashes over Gujarat interfaith couple. <laughs> Indian religion reaches foreign shows. Hindu group protests criminalization of swastika in Maryland legislation. But this should give some breath of fair share to all the free thinking people. NSUI sweeps student union polls at Kashi Sanskrit University. Maybe there is a ray of sunshine somewhere out there, folks. Cheers.